and welcome back to Naturally Corporate. So in today's video, I am sharing with you my top five holiday favorites. Now, not only do you get to see my top five favorites, but this video is a collaboration with a few of my friends here on YouTube. Mel C's Makeup and Style, Allison Chase, Lexi Jong, and Michi Makes Up. So after you watch my favorites, hop over to their videos and see what favorites they have to share. I will link all of their information in the description box, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so the first item that I'll share with you that has become one of my favorites, it is by Bumble and & Bumble, and it is the Dry Spun Texture Spray. Now, why I like this is because I do have fine natural hair. So my hair, depending on how, how I'm wearing it or how I style it, can look very flat. Now, that doesn't bother me when I flat iron it like I have today, um, but I did want it to give it a little bit of volume, so I used the Dry Spun Texture Spray. It's light, it's airy, it's not sticky, and it definitely has not weighed my hair down. I still have lots of volume. So I plan to use this probably in another three to four days. I don't want my hair to expand too much. I really, really enjoy the sleek look. But hey, if you've got fine hair like I do, give this um, dry spun texture spray a try. Now, this is one of the newest items from Bumble and Bumble, but it also comes in <laughs> a neat gift box. So if you want to try the accompanying uh, volumizing shampoo and conditioner, it comes in this great little gift set. I did pick this up from Ulta. And this is the high volume hair at the Brooklyn Fringe. So if you want to try it, um, you know, save a little money, get the gift set. And the shampoo and conditioner are travel sizes, but the dry spun texture spray is full size. So if this product is something that you think you may may enjoy, if you need something to give your fine hair a boost, why not check it out? And this uh, thickening spray or uh, texturizing spray is for fine to medium hair and straight to wavy hair. So if you fall into either of those categories, give this a try if you've got fine hair. Okay, so I feel like today is one of those days when all of my stars were aligned and my eye makeup came out just right. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm using. Okay, Here's what I'm using. This is the Cinnamon Bear Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. The colors are so pretty. Um, this came from Sephora. And let me open it up and show it to you. Get this pretty little pouch to hold all of your goodies. And I'll tell you honestly, what attracted me to this palette as I was walking around in Sephora is because on the box where it says limited edition, it says smells like cinnamon. <laughs> so when I think of holidays, I think of certain spices, cinnamon is one of them. So I said, oh, let me check out this cinnamon bear palette. But the most beautiful little package with the little bears on it and not only do you get eyeshadows, not only do you get the beautiful eyeshadows, but you also get blush. I mean, really, if you're looking for something for the holidays that has nice, warm holiday colors, this is it. You've got everything you need in this one little palette. Plus, let me not forget, you get lipstick too. This is Melted Matte, uh, Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. This also comes with this palette inside the cute little bag. And I don't know if this smells like cinnamon too. I would imagine it would. Yes, it smells like Red Hots. It smells like Red Hot Candies. And so you've got eight shadows and then one blush. And the colors I used on my eyes today, I used a few because I'm still a novice when it comes to my eyeshadows. So I'll do just a swatch of maybe one of them. That is Red Hots. And another one of my favorites is Chocolate Dipped. Got 
chocolate dipped right there oh my gosh these are so pretty I'll do one more this is slow burn I used slow burn too these are so so pretty so I'm not wearing the matte lipstick because um, I'm wearing another lipstick and I'll show you what I'm wearing coming right up but this is the cinnamon bear limited edition um, eyeshadow palette it says you'll look red hot with this sweet and spicy palette and it smells good too so uh, this came from Sephora okay so next on my list is lipstick and I'm wearing one of these today this is the three-piece fireworks slay all day set and this is by Mac and I believe these are um, the frosted fireworks collection is made exclusively for Macy's by Mac but you get three matte lipsticks and I am wearing one of them today I've got on Lady Danger let me see let me find Lady Danger okay here's Lady Danger this is the one that I'm wearing it's just a beautiful red lipstick um, now Ruby Woo is my all-time I think that's my all-time favorite lipstick period ever in life but <laughs> Lady Danger is not so bad too it's not as deep and it's not as intense um, the next one that comes in the shade is Velvet Teddy here is Velvet Teddy I really love this one too I did try it on I definitely need a lip liner because it just kind of made my lips blend into my face <laughs> and I certainly want to look like I have lips <laughs> so um, I'll be using a definitely a lip liner I have chestnut I have to find my Mac chestnut lip liner I think that would really go nicely with velvet Teddy and the last one that comes in the trio is chili um, this is another one I tried chili on first at um, as well but I felt like Lady Danger just looked nicer with the rest of my makeup today. So this is the three-piece Frosted Firework Slay All Day. It's a trio of lipsticks from MAC. And I found these at Macy's. And for three tubes of MAC lipstick, I paid less than $25 for these. So they are... Um, I don't know if they're limited edition. I would imagine so. This is, um, you know, if you look on Macy's.com, this does, or even, or even Mac 2020 holiday releases, this, uh, this set does come up. So I would imagine they just might be for a limited time. Okay, friends. So I'm pretty conservative with my makeup. I always wear lipstick and although I'm conservative, I love a bold red lip. So I always do lipstick, I do eyeliner, and then within the past year or so, I've gotten into eyeshadow. But there are certain times of year or certain occasions that I want to break out blush. And next on my list, number four, is this Red Glam Blush Palette from Nika K. Now, I purchased this from my local beauty supply store. If you are not familiar with Nika K New York or have seen it but never picked it up and tried it don't sleep on Nika K remember I just told you about my favorite MAC lipstick which is which is Ruby Woo Nika K has a deep red lipstick I don't know the color of it and it doesn't have a name I believe it just has numbers but in my book it comes in number two next to my rat MAC Ruby Woo I love that so I said all that to say check out Nika K now this is the red glam blush palette there are several more but I felt like this one was oh so appropriate for this time of year this is the blush that I use it's like a really nice hmm, I'm, maybe like a a raisin a plum or a raisin then you've got your orange and then a nice deep mauve uh, I think that's a nice mauve this is gold I used it as my highlighter and surely that's what it has to be I don't know anyone who would wear this color as a blush um, this blush does not have the colors listed on it but it's just it's called red glam so if you're in your local beauty supply store and you see some Nika K check out her eyeshadows actually I've never used the eyeshadows but she has a full line eyeshadows serums even lipstick and this is the red glam palette the holidays are here and I want to zhuzh it up a little bit so check out Nika K and I have the red glam blush palette 
Okay, we're at number five. So, underneath all of this makeup, the Nika K and the Too Faced and the MAC lipstick, I have to take care of my skin. So, I have products from Mario Badescu from the skincare line. Now, um, here are two of the newest items from Mario Badescu. It is the Hyaluronic Dew Cream as well as the Hyaluronic Dew Drops. Now, these are very, very small sizes, but they came in a gift set. Now, I could have bought the full sizes of these, but I'm thinking, hey, it's always great to, try, to start off with a trial size number one to make sure that it works for your skin, especially with skincare, to make sure that it works with your skin, you don't have any breakouts or any type of allergic reactions. So, when I saw that these two dewdrop items came in with this gift set, it was a no-brainer. I went ahead and picked this up. So not only do I have all of the cleansers and toners, um, I get to experience the dewdrops products also. And I will say, I used both of them at the same time after I went to, through the entire cleansing and toning process. And I don't know if I was supposed to use both of them at the same time. It might be either or, but I couldn't find, <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't see anywhere where it said you could not use them one after the other or, you know, together. But um, maybe I'll just do one at a time, maybe alternate every other days and, and switch up with both of these. But this is the, um, you know, the, the box says, do it for the glow. And I think skincare, is one of the most important um, types of self pampering and one of the most important things you can do for yourself because regardless of all the makeup that I'm slathering on you know if my skin isn't properly taken care of underneath what's the point you know I'm just covering up potential problems and creating problems so I will say both of these do products from Mario Burdescu made my skin feel really soft and when I take off all of the makeup and uh, go through the cleansing process my skin does look really nice and dewy and so 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 soft I love these products anyway um, or this brand of products anyway so friends I have shared with you my top and maybe those I hope these still counted as one right <laughs> this counted as number five because they're both from the Dew Drops collection Okay, friends, we've come to the end of my top five holiday releases, and I really enjoyed sharing all of my goodies with you. So let me know in the comments if you have tried anything that I mentioned. I know a lot of these items are limited edition, but you may have picked them up before I did. So let me know if you've tried any of them or if you plan to, if they intrigued you enough to want to go and check them out. Also, don't forget to check out my friends' videos. All of their links will be in my description box. I, trust me, I'm making a list of all of the goodies that I want to buy based on their recommendations because, you know, try, trying to dwindle it down to just five was really, really hard. But thank you so much for watching my video as always. Until next time, keep it naturally corporate.